Okay, so now we will uh, discuss about uh, problems in which the domain consists of all the people in the world, and we will try to write sentences using quantifiers. So let us see the first problem here: translate using quantifiers, where the domain consists of all people. So the first statement is: every student in this class has studied calculus. So here what i will do is i will write first what is cx standing for cx standing for stands for the statement x has studied calculus okay and uh, second thing is that x can be a student in this class also so that i'm going to call that as sx where x is student of this class okay now i will convert this into quantification every student means for all x belonging to d what is d d is the domain domain consists of all people so what is d d is all people that is domain for all x in d student is in the class has studied calculus so this is universal quantification so i will be using i will be using implication so if the student first of all is in the class then he has studied calculus so sx implies cx so this is so we must remember that whenever there is a universal quantification you have to use an implication and whenever there is an existential quantification suppose i am using there exist in a quantification then i should use which type of operation i should use conjunction so just look at the next example some student in the class has visited antarctica so so first of all if a person has visited antarctica i will call it ax ax is the statement x has visited antarctica and what is uh, what is sx sx is fixed that student is in the class so what is sx sx means x is in this class so now what is the quantifier for this thing so some student means there exist some student there exists some student x in the domain a domain is the set of all people such that first of all the student must be in the class means sx and he has also visited what and he has visited antarctica and this is ax so since this is an existential quantification i'm going to use conjunction so this is the solution of this particular problem look at this uh, third one some student in this class so student in this class is again sx as it is and has visited mexico or has visited hyderabad so what is MA mx mx means x has visited mexico and uh, hx i will call as x has visited hyderabad okay and now how will i write the quantifier of this so the quantifier of this is some students mean there exist x in the domain d such that first of all he is a student of this class student of this class was uh, sx right and he has visited uh, mexico or hyderabad so and he has visited mexico mx or he has visited hyderabad okay so this is sx and mx or hx suppose i remove this sum and suppose let me write a d part 
okay let me remove the sum and instead of sum if i write every student and the same statement of of c every student in this class has visited mexico or hyderabad then the same uh, then the part d solution i will write how will i write i will write for all x belonging to d okay every student first of all he is a student so sx he has visited mexico or hyderabad will become mx or hx okay and this will be what now this is a universal quantification so i will not use conjunction but i will use what i will use implication so if the person is a student of this class then he has either visited mexico or hyderabad so that is for what that is uh, used for universal quantification let me take one more example translate using quantifiers where domain consists of all the people in your class now this this problem we have already done in the previous lecture in your class so we will now solve this problem translate the quantifier where the domain consists of all the people okay now here you have all people so what is a domain domain is common for all the problems domain is all people in the world and uh, let us call sx is x is student in this class why i'm taking sx as student in the class because the statement is about student in the class okay now this these two things will be common for all points a b c coming below so the first problem is someone in your class can speak hindi means there exists x belonging to domain such that first of all that person is a student in your class and second is he can speak hindi so what is hx here i will suppose i will hx is x can speak hindi so this means sx is there and hx is there now should i write a implication here or should i write a conjunction here so as we know since this is an existential quantification for existential quantification we will use conjunction so it is sx and hx suppose for the second one b is a state a student is in your class has been in a movie so let us call mx that mx is a statement x has been for movie okay so what will be the solution of this a student in your class has been means there exists a student right so there is some student so this means there exists a x in d such that first of all he is a student of your class means sx and mx means he has been to movie why i'm using and because it is related to existential third one everyone in your class is friendly so let us call fx to be means x is friendly okay so what will be the quantification for this everyone means for all x belonging to d in your class in your class means he is a student in your class means his sx is friendly means fx and now in between which uh, which operator should i use should i use implication or conjunction because it is an universal quantification i will use their implication so translate using quantifiers where the domain consists of all birds so d is in this in all these problems d will stand for all birds okay so the first statement is px is me is meaning by x is a hummingbird second qx is nothing but x is a large x is large rx means x lives on honey and fourth sx means x is richly colored so these four things we will use and try to write the given four sentences below using quantifiers okay now let us write the first one all humming birds are richly colored so clearly in the answer when i write this all means for all x 
belonging to the domain humming birds what are humming bird x is humming bird means what means it is related to px are richly colored what is richly colored given by richly colored is sx and which operator should i use in between for universal operator we use implication so the solution for the first exercise is for all x belonging to d px implies sx okay let us do the second exercise second part of the same thing i'm going to the b part this was the a part no large birds live on honey okay now no large bird lives on honey means there does not exist no large bird means what there does not exist a bird which is large and lives on honey okay this is the meaning of there there does not exist means no large bird okay now what we will do is there does not exist part we will we will for the time being we will not look at this not let us keep this not away and we will try to write the answer of there does exist a bird which is large and lives on honey so there exists a x in d such that which is large now x is large was given by the statement qx and lives on honey x lives on honey was given by rx and because it's a existential quantification so this is the answer of what there exists a bird which is large and lives on honey but we want a not so we want a negation of this complete statement okay and what is the negation of this complete statement we all know that negation of we all know that negation of there exists px what is the negation of there exists px in the last lectures we have seen that it is same as saying for all x and you take the negation of the original statement so here this there exists will get converted into for all x belonging to d and you will get negation of qx and rx what is the negation of a and b the negation of a and b is de morgan's law it is negation a or negation b so this means this will become for all x belonging to d negation qx or negation rx this is the complete answer okay you should not leave it in between by just writing this much by just writing this step it is not a complete answer you should write the answer completely uh, let us do the third one now birds that do not live on honey are dull in color okay now in this statement it is nowhere mentioned that there exists is also not mentioned and everything or all is also not mentioned just try to see the same sentence when i say a declarative sentence like this okay and if i don't tell anything it automatically means that this statement is written for every people okay for all people okay everybody so this uh, if i just read this sentence like this birds that do not live on honey are dull in color it is the same thing thing to say that if i am not mentioning anything it means that all birds that do not live on honey are dull in color so this statement in the terms of for all 
and there exists is the same to say that all birds because nothing is mentioned right nothing is mentioned all birds that do not live on honey are dull in color so now this means that if it is meant for all birds i'm going to say for all x belonging to the universal quantification do not live on honey what is do not live on honey let me go back rx is the statement which says that x lives on honey so if x does not if it does not live on honey means it is negation of rx are dull in color dull in color is opposite of richly colored and richly colored was called as sx and therefore this is dull in colored means it is negation of sx now should i write a and here or an implication here so we know that this is a universal quantification therefore i am going to use an implication in this particular problem okay let's go for the last point of this exercise set hummingbirds are small now nothing is mentioned here whether some hummingbirds are small or every or, or all hummingbirds are small so it means that if i do not tell anything means that statement is for all so this statement is equivalent to say that all hummingbirds are small so now in logic we are going to use this if you don't tell me anything specific i will assume that the statement is true for all elements okay so all hummingbirds are small this means i should write for all x belonging to d first of all it is hummingbird what was the notation for hummingbird we had associated px px was x is a hummingbird are small so what was that we just go back px was x is a hummingbird and qx is what x is large means but we are given in the problem that it is small so it is opposite of this qx means it is a negation of this qx so there i will write in my problem i will write negation of qx and the quantific and the logical operator that i should write in between should be a implication because it's a universal quantification i'm repeating this things all the time so this will be the solution of this particular problem for all x belonging to d px implies negation qx